noise, yeah? Oh, Welcome to Mrs. Steinberg's 8th grade Chumash class. Today we started learning Parakid Zion, Psukim Bet to Zion, which we discussed the justice system of worshipping a Bodhazara, which you're not allowed to do, and we discussed what happens if you find someone worshipping a Bodhazara and the process of committing someone who did worship a Bodhazara. Okay. A Bodhazara. That you might worship Gatorade. Okay. So this is the Pasuk we looked at. Right, we looked at ki matzabi karbecha bachad charecha. You find someone who's close to you and someone who's in your city, in your gate. Actually, it says asher Hashem lo kecha noten lach that God gave you, and that's actually what we're going to focus on in a moment. Isho isha, a man or a woman, asher yase et hara bene Hashem lo kecha did bad in the eyes of God. La vor brito, he transgressed the covenant of God, which we said has to do is doing a vodazar, which the next two can go. Right, you break the covenant of God if you worship an idol, right? The whole belief system depends on believing in God. And if you go and worship another God, then you break the covenant. So we're going to focus on now, and we'll discuss tomorrow in class, but what you're going to learn with me now is we're going to discuss this beginning of the Pasuk. Beginning of the Pasuk says, if you find someone in your gate that God gave you, and there must be some significance that it says, Asher Hashem lo kecha So we're going to look at a Ramban together that discusses this very idea. Okay. Um, let's, this is what we're going to do. We're going to read this Ramban together. And if you note, there are some underlying words. And what I want you to do is, while I learn the, um, the Ramban with you, be able to translate these words. So maybe on a piece of paper, you want to write down the words, Sha'arecha, Bilvad, Bechutza, Beskila, and make sure you know the, how to translate it in English. And now I'm not going to overall discuss this Ramban. I'm just going to learn it with you. And you also need to explain what the Ramban is teaching us about finding people who worship a Bodhisattva. If I want to find this Ramban in a... Um in my own Ramban at home, where would I look? Okay, it's a good question. So actually, I handed this sheet out, so you should have it. Um, and you can just follow along with the handout. Or, if you seem to have lost it, it's posted on Moodle. Or, you can open up Mikro Godolo or Torah Chaim, and look in a Parak Yud Zayim Pasuk Bet, and locate the Ramban with the Dibor HaMatril that's bolded here in red. Thank you, Morris Steinberg. <laughs> okay. So let's start learning and let's hit it. Okay. Kim sabi kerbacha be'echad sharecha asher Hashem lo kecha noten lach. Natan lach. Find someone that happens to be worshiping the Buddha Zara in your city. Asher Hashem lo kecha noten lach that God has um, given you. Kvar perashi. I already discussed this. Ki kasher yidaber b'mishpatim. Right? We learned this in Parsha Mishpatim. Yatzchir tzchila ha-mishpat b'vodah zara o b'ovadya. Okay, so already Ramban is saying as an intro sentence, I've already discussed this concept of if you find someone who worships the Vodah Zara, and here again in Parsha Shoftim, we're going to discuss it. Ve'amar. And it says in this pasuk, Ba'achad sha'aracha, in any of your gates, your gates, which we said Rashi helps us understand it means city, Asher Hashem Lokecha V'gomer. Velo she'yichiyezeh Eretz Yisrael bevad. It doesn't mean only in Eretz Yisrael proper, only in the land of Israel if you find someone who worships the Vodah Zara. Sha'af ha'oveid bechutza la'aretz beskila. What's chutza? Like chutz la'aretz, outside of Eretz Yisrael. Even if you find someone outside of Eretz Yisrael who worships the Vodah Zara, that person also skila, he gets stoned. Okay, aval inyan ha katuv. Katuv means referring to our pasuk with this dibor amatriel. Aval inyan ha katuv. What is the pasuk teaching us? She amar ki yimsa ha davar beachat min ha arim ha rechokot. She yitain lecha Hashem kasher yarchiv et gvulecha. The pasuk is saying if you find someone in one of these foreign cities, what is far cities? We're gonna actually see those same words again in Perik Yotet when we get to it in Shoftim, but in one of the far cities that you have when you've expanded your border, right? B'nai Israel have Israel proper, then with David HaMelech we expand our borders, so any city that's included not just in the, specifically the land that God gave us with Yehoshua's time, but when we conquered land also all those lands are included. V'hugad l'cha v'shamata be'eze ir shetia at Atasham. So if you happen to have heard someone worship a Bodhazar in any one of those cities, 
Tidrosh Hadavar Hetiv, you need to investigate the matter, Vekasher Tedash Oamet. And when you know that this is an actual truth, that this person, maybe Rabbi Rebel, you find him, and he actually did worship Abod Azara, Oseta Otam, take them out, El Sha'ar, to the gate, Hahu, Sha'avadbo, right, at the gate where he had worshipped Abod Azara, this Galtam, and you stone that person. The Amar, and it says this in Pasuk Dalit, Nastaha Toiva Hazot Bisrael. It will then be clear that this person did an abominable act of Ben Israel, Lachayev Afilu Bechut Sel Aretz. So this person is Chayev even outside of Eretz Israel. So what I want to just discuss, and then you'll let me know what you understood from this by answering question B um, after this video, and we'll discuss it more tomorrow. Chutz Aretz. So what happens? If you are in England and you right. worship a Vodazara, do you are you gonna get skila? Are you gonna get stones? So I think that what the Ramban is saying is it's unlikely that if you're in England, the beaten of B'nai Israel is gonna find you in England and then accuse you for Jewish law in England. So it's unlikely that you're going to have the policeman who followed Jewish law come find you and then commit you for someone who worships idol worship. So what Ramban is saying, what is it? Why is it emphasizing that God gave you? It's not that if you don't, if you worship a Vodazara outside of Israel, you're not gonna. It's not wrong, but you're unlikely to get punished from the Beitin because they're not there. They're in Eretz Israel. So the Ramban is saying that the pasuk is teaching us when it says the the land that God gave us, it's not just Israel proper in the times of Yehoshua that we conquer and then, but when we expand our borders, it's also included there. So some city all the way up north that we didn't have, but we once, it, we did eventually get it once, once we conquered it later, that's still included. Okay, so what you need to do now is translate the underlying words on your handout and explain the Ramban um, in your own words. We learned through it, and I want you to then give me a nice summary. Tomorrow in class, we'll discuss it. Hope you have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.